Hey, my name is Brad and I'm going to show you to make a portable application. First thing we need to do is install WinRAR. This is free to download online. Once this is done, we're going to install our test application, which is DVD Fab Platinum. Install it to the default path and click create a desktop icon. Do this with any of the applications you might install. Okay, we do not want to install that, and we do not want to reboot. Okay, so here we have it, give it a platinum. We're just going to make sure it's, it's working. Yes, it is. seems to be fully functioning. We're going to close this down, and now we're going to create our EXE. We need to right-click on the desktop, on the icon, select Properties, and we need to open the file location. If you're running Windows XP, you need to click on Find Target, and close this. And here we go, here's the installation of the working program we tested earlier. We need to now go out of this file into program files. Yeah, it's selected for us automatically. We need to now zip this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right-click on the desk on the folder. You know, it's just four little book icons here. These are the WinRAR icons, but in case this is the first time you're seeing WinRAR. What we're going to do is we're gonna create a archive. So we're gonna click there. And in the name and parameters fields, we're just going to do a few ticks. We're going to make the archive format zip. And we're going to enable the create SFX archive. This will actually create it, create an XE at the end of the application, which is what we want. We're going to leave the compression method to normal. Anything faster might corrupt. And as far as the other tabs go, if you can go to advanced and you can set a password for the application, I don't advise this over because if you forget it, you probably will. You're going to have a problem later on. Um, there's four other fields. Files. Backup. Time. And comment. I suggest in your free time you play around with these tabs and see what you, what you find. You might like something. Okay, so once this is done, we're going to click OK. And it's going to compress all the files into an EXE. Scroll down, and here we go. I'm going to move this to my desktop, close this window, and before I install the CXC I'm going to uninstall my first copy of DVD Fab. You want to remove all remnants of it, because you actually want to make sure that the one we install works independently. Okay, so we're going to install EXE then. Double click on it, and as far as the destination folder goes, it will always be where the project is. In this case, my desktop. I'm going to leave it here. You can, however, browse to the drives and sort wherever you want. I'm going to install it. Here we go. DVD Fab Platinum 4. I'm going to open it up. I'm just going to launch the EXE, make sure it works. And it does work. It works 100%. So, there you have it. This is how you create a portable EXE. Um, what you might be wondering is why you would do this. As quite simple really. If you install an application onto your computer that a friend or family member might want and you cannot find the original setup file, which would be this one, and this so often does happen, you could actually create your own portable one. You could back it up as a new one. You don't have to worry about the original. You can also give it to whoever you want to by a flash stick or disk. Anyway, keep practicing and later on I'll show you how to create a virtual EXE. Have fun.